Hi, and welcome to Prepping Essentials. Well, good morning, Sunday the 8th of May. Bit of a drizzly grey old day today as I make my way down to the land. As always, not quite sure what we're going to get done today, but let's find out. Well, good morning. <laughs> it's another damp morning this morning. You can see it's uh, overcast still. Sun is trying to peek out there behind the clouds, but it's not having much success at the moment. Very wet underfoot. Weather forecast keeps telling us we're going to have a heat wave, but I don't know whether to buy it or not. <laughs> anyway, Monday morning, just coming down to uh, look at the bees again. Fairly confident with uh, the first two hives. It is still a little bit early for them, but there is activity. They are coming and going. Uh, but these two are remarkably quiet. Which is not a good sign, to be honest. Anyway, I've brought down a few bits to uh, fill up those two boxes. The nuke box and the third hive with a few more frames hopefully when I lift the lids they are actually in there <laughs> and they haven't disappeared um, I don't see any signs on the hedgerow of swarming so I am hoping they're still in there and they're just having a bit of a lie in I guess we'll find out shortly Let's take a little look. <laughs> that hive is empty. There is one, two solitary little bees. Yeah. Completely empty, so they've gone somewhere. Now have they gone into that hive next to me or have they gone back to the original ones? But that's empty. Which is a bit disappointing to say the least. Right, let's take a look at the other one. Ah, oh, dear, dear, dear. Could this all be in vain? Uh, let's take a little look. Apologies for the camera. I, I'm trying desperately to uh, video for you. Got a queen excluder in the hope that I can put a super box on and I've got a few more friends so let's take a look well, we have got two bees on here ah that's better wow look at that Right, I need to move a bit quickly. I don't quite know how I'm going 
want to do this. They're not happy with that. Take a few out of this other box since we're not using them. for one more. that okay Well, that was a surprise, a welcome surprise, because it means they want us, oh dear, almost made a schoolboy error in my haste. Come on, out the way. not annoyed them too much <laughs> he says knowing that he has right let them settle down a bit and I'll get everything back in the cabin <sighs> oh, I'll just pop everything back at the cabin and I noticed something in the raised bed area as I was walking past I've not looked at this this morning I just launched myself straight into the bees but how annoying is this? Look, we're back to ah, the same old, same old story. Can you see that? Bloody holes again in that bed. And what's even more annoying, we've now got it. On this one, look at that. Ah, so annoying. And I have no clue how they're getting in there. <sighs> Just to add insult to injury, <laughs> they're digging on this one as well. Yeah, and the strawberry patch again. <laughs> Look, that's birds, I think, rather than rather than rabbits. 
No clue where they're getting in here. No clue at all. Damned annoying. Anyway, look on the bright side. <laughs> Hopefully, we've got three viable hives now. I guess we'll see over the next couple of days. Uh, which will be sporadic because we're back to work again tomorrow. Got a couple of little jobs I want to do in the cabin. Uh, I want to pull the little red tractor out, just make sure it's running. It's far too wet still to be even thinking about running around the field, but I'll just give it a once-over, make sure it's fine, and then hopefully, if this heat wave that they keep predicting materialises, I'll get round and get some grass cut. Uh, I'm also going to have to fill these bloody beds in again. Hey-ho. Well, that was a bit, uh, a bit of frantic activity with the bees. Really annoying with those raised beds. I, I just don't know how they're getting into them. I really don't. Anyway, I've just filled in the holes and uh, I think I'm tempted to reseed that uh, that last raised bed. It did have cabbage in there, but <laughs> even if they were starting to germinate, I think that uh, hole digging exercise is put paid to them. So I'll give it a go. I'll reseed. A uh, couple of bits in the cabin I want to do. Some of the old, the old frames that I uh, managed to destroy last year harvesting the honey. Um, I've got them out on the bench over there. I'm just going to take off what's left of the wax frames and at some point this week I'll uh, pop into Thorn Bees. I might actually have a chance to do that tomorrow. I have got a work trip and I could either on the way there or on the way back just have a little detour and call in uh, and get some more wax uh, sheets for the frames. might even pick up a couple of frames themselves as well so I've got some spares. I have plenty of spare frames for the super boxes um, but I don't actually have many spares for the brood boxes so I might just pick up a few of those while I'm there. Anyway wherever you are whatever you're doing I hope you're enjoying your extended weekend. Do let me know what it is that you're up to in the comments section. Always very happy to hear how things are with you. And uh, I'll continue sharing <laughs> my mixed bag of success and failure as we go through the year. Um, hopefully now it's a uh, kind of peak planting season. So hopefully over the course of the next few weeks, I'll be able to build on the start that I've got now um things i'm really happy with potatoes they're coming along really well i did spend a few minutes yesterday in the polytunnel just banking up some of those containers i noticed that a few of them were a little bit low um so i, th I thought i'd just bank them up a little bit it won't be long before they're coming outside as i usually do and just stuck alongside the polytunnel saves me the effort of trying to keep on top of the watering with them. Um, they can take advantage of <laughs> the rain we've been having. Carrots are coming along quite well. Quite pleased with those. Um, peas, tomatoes, they seem to be taking forever to actually get strong and start putting on growth. Um, but it is still early, I guess. We're only just starting May. Um, and whatever gaps I have got, I'll do exactly what I'm doing today. I'll just reseed. And hopefully, as we head into summer, we'll start to reap the rewards. Anyway, let me get cracked on. I'll get out in the raised bed, do that reseeding. Sort out those frames, have a bit of a tidy up. I have got stuff I want to do back at home. I've also got another video that I've been taking clips for. Um, I had hoped to have got that up today, but 
with the saga of the bees, it's just throwing my entire weekend into chaos. Um, fingers crossed, I will have a, a very early visit before I go out for work tomorrow. It'll probably be a bit dark for you, um, taking video clips. Um, but I'll just take another look at that, that new hive. Fingers crossed I haven't upset them too much. I was stunned to see that piece of comb that they'd actually started building off the roof of the hive. That was astounding. And over such a short space of time, literally over a day, they'd built, I don't know, shut up, cockerel, a good seven, eight inch of, of comb. Bit bizarre. Good that I came down today to put those frames in. Um, so they have got stuff now to build on. That is a bird scarer. <laughs> it's been going off all weekend. Um, yeah, it just goes to show for such small little creatures, um, their output is phenomenal, really phenomenal. <laughs> I wish I could have the same kind of output and the size ratio as they do. God, I mean, if the whole field would be wash now with uh, with planting um, anyway I hope you've enjoyed that hope you enjoy what I have managed to get today and uh, over the course of the next few weeks hopefully we'll build on that um, it is difficult with work um, I just don't seem to have the time to dedicate um, but I am doing my best so bear with me do let me know what you're up to and I'll catch you all later Well, let's see how we get on with this. There we go. Let's see how we get on with that. Okay. Well, that's all the beds covered back over again. Despite the best efforts of the rabbit, the garlic's still doing well, as are the onions. We've got Swede coming up in that bed. That's now been reseeded, so we'll see how that gets on. Strawberries are coming on well in this bed. Got quite a few now with flowers on. I guess we'll have to wait and see 
whether I get them or the pigeons get them. And we've also got sweet corn coming up here, 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 here. <laughs> Again, we'll see what happens with the battle of the birds and the rabbits. Uh, polytunnel. Give you a quick look before I go. Carrots doing well, which is nice to see. Potatoes equally. You might remember in the cabin chat I said that I'd banked some of these up, which I have. These end ones have been banked up. So they're doing well. The tomatoes are hanging in despite, <laughs> despite everything. Uh, they're still coming. Peas mixed bag. But I have got the three in these pots that look like they are going to make it not sure about the ones in there so yeah a bit of a mixed bag let's have a quick run up to the bees before i go see if anything is happening the weather is rubbish it keeps spitting with rain the clouds are definitely brewing for something i don't think it's going to be long before we get rain well they seem to have calmed down yeah they're just busying themselves coming in and out now which is good hopefully that's them now and they'll adopt that hive and thrive With, so with a bit of luck, fingers crossed this year, we could be harvesting from three hives instead of two. They are funny things. Oh, one's getting annoyed at me, <laughs> flapping round my head. Given the opportunity, I could just sit and watch them for ages, but I just don't have the time. I can't help myself, I do keep looking in these bushes, <laughs> just in case, because last year they did actually swarm twice. Long term viewers might remember, I caught a swarm, thought that was it, and uh, then another one swarmed, so I don't know, I just can't help myself but looking. Anyway, let me get myself back into the cabin, get sorted out, get locked up, because I really don't have much time left today. But hey, if I get this video out there, that's three in three days. You can't knock me for trying. <laughs> well, I've timed that well because the rain started coming down. Uh, I guess at least it'll water the seeds in, in the uh, the raised beds and hopefully keep the bees inside so that they uh, they adopt that third hive. Don't want them having too much of an opportunity to explore for somewhere else. I want them in there. <laughs> oh dear, it is getting darker and darker. So I'll get myself in the car and get myself off home. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, do stay safe and well, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Well, that's it for this video. I hope there was something in there that was of interest to you. If you did like the video, please do click on the like button. Also, feel free to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. As always, I welcome any comments, questions or suggestions you might have. Just feel free to leave them in the comments section below. But for now, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.